Good morning, Minecrafters. This is Sunday, January 7th, 2024. Wow, that's too close. Welcome to the skeleton farm. That's right, we were here yesterday trying to work on uh, putting the storage facility in. But let me tell you something, guys. I found an incredible and a very incredible uh, build or design of a skeleton farm by Sea Love Gaming. And let me tell you, we will be doing that. Not immediately, because we get, we're working on the uh, flying ship. But, oh my god, it's amazing. And I think I'm going to do all my um, spawners, mob spawner farms like that. It's really nice, man. So, where are we... Oh, but, and I also want to thank everyone. I'm, I just woke up, I haven't had coffee yet. So, I just want to thank every single person who's been... Um, subscribing to my youtube channel i got i'm up to uh, let me turn around i'm up to 233 subscribers on youtube so thank you very much you guys for uh coming on board uh again um i'm waiting for my laptop to uh warm up here and uh see the list of names but uh i can tell you give me a second here, i can tell you who notify the notification of who signed up so let me see here uh ambria mack thomas ewald Haley mccarty um i haven't i haven't like i said uh and then al vids of course but um the other people i like i said i'm up to 233 so unless your names are uh, listed public for um, subscribing to a channel i won't be able to see it but for those that I see on the list, you'll be getting a statue. Like I said, I'm waiting for my laptop to warm up. And once I see the list of names, uh, then I'll give you guys your statues. I have a group called the Red Rider Group, which is the uh, subscribers and followers on my channel from Twitch and YouTube. So, yeah. Uh, and also, uh, let me see here. Still at 36, though, on Twitch, but that's okay. Um... So today's national day is Sunday, January 7th. We have National Bobblehead Day. Bobblehead, you know, the baseball bobbleheads, or football bobbleheads, or uh, character bobbleheads. Uh, that's the kind of stuff you put on the dashboard of your car, <laughs> that bobble. Uh, tempura Day, the Japanese dish, fried goods. Uh, national Career Coach Day. Oh, that's tomorrow. I'm jumping ahead. So there's your January 7th. It's Tempura and Bobblehead Day. Get your bobbleheads and uh, eat your tempura while watching your bobblehead. There you go. So let me uh, warm up this uh, channel here. Do a volume check. Do a volume check. Awesome. So glad you guys are here. Uh, welcome to Sunday. And uh, looks like we got a we got a, somebody watching back there. They're just gonna have to stay there. All right, so the idea is I made a bubble elevator. I should have made it out of glass. And um, I think this is set up for bones right here. And then this is set up for everything else. Um, what I'm planning to do, we're going to need arrows. So we need one chest for arrows because that can be sorted. And, the re uh, and then the rest is going to be a laze. So I'm going to need to get a lace down here. Or over here because I have a lace nearby. Alright, so let's make this chest. Well, let me see if I have an empty. Do I have an empty chest? Yes. Alright. So what we're going to do. And again, good morning. Let me see if I put my helmet on too before. Because I go around here with no helmet. It's not good. Alright, uh, oh, and by the way, another thing uh, I just want to point out, um, I didn't know this, I've been playing this since 2019, you can make uh, a six beacon pyramid, instead of having a beacon with one uh, effect, you can essentially get six beacons and put it on top of the pyramid, and have six effects at the same time going on, I had no clue, I thought, I've watched Minecrafters play and I just assumed that there were six different pyramids you can make one pyramid with six different effects that's awesome I didn't know that so we'll try try that out 
at another time, but yeah. And uh, what was the other thing I saw yesterday? Silent Whispers, um, Coral, and Grass Farm. That thing's awesome. So you can get coral uh, from the ocean and uh, grass, seagrass. And uh, then I found out a shepherd sells shears. I didn't know that either. So <laughs> that's what I'm saying, man. I've been playing this since 2019, and I'm still learning. Still learning about the diff different things that this game offers. That's awesome. So awesome. And the not too distant future, we're going to have uh, auto crafting tables. So that's going to be even more awesome. So, again, happy Sunday, guys. Uh, I tried to be... <laughs> I was going full full bore yesterday. Um, trying to promote my channel. And I kept saying over and over again, 10 a.m., 10 a.m., 10 a.m. So, ugh, I haven't even had my coffee yet, man. I just turned on the computer and just, boom, here I am. So, bear with me. Uh, I'll try to keep going. <laughs> I'll try to keep going. As, as much as I can on this build until I need really need that coffee desperately but yeah so here we go we're gonna need some hoppers um, this is gonna have me see if I have anything left in there. nope okay so we're gonna need to turn this the opposite way um, I have to get this building blocks back Oh my, is that andesite? Hmm. That is. Well, since I did the other one with stone, let's do this with stone. I don't have glass. Hopefully, it'll work without glass. And I'm going to need the locking stones. Anything that doesn't get sorted can be a locking stone or a locking item. It's just something that. Uh, I don't believe I just did that. <laughs> I already put this thing down. Oh, I know why I did that. Okay. Yeah, once I get glass, I can put glass in there, but I don't have any on hand right now. Ooh, I need... Oh... Uh, we're going to need a comparator and a repeater. Comparator and a repeater. There we go. Well, the one good thing is, when we get the LAs down here, we don't need to lo make, make a locking mechanism. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. We are going to have to make, uh, I think, note blocks. That's how they work. Just take the red, uh, yeah, the redstone and do the back like that. That locks it. And then what you got to do, hmm, oh yeah, because I put stuff in there. All right. Wow. It dropped down. Oh, that's because I did that, right? All right. Let's see. Locked it temporarily. It, once it hits 41, it'll stop. 
there we go. So, uh oh. Hmm. That's odd. Maybe the stone has something to do with it. That's really weird. It should have stopped at 41. Hmm. Hmm. I bet you it has something to do with that glass. You have to have glass, I think. Alright, let me go buy some glass before we leave here. Let's try to get some shut eye because I got villagers up top and I don't need them to get attacked because <laughs> uh, oh geez yeah we got all this stuff here all right I'm trying to get my laptop up and running while helping you guys with this all right let's go See where I can grab some shut eyes safely. Right here. Um, you know what? Let's just go over to the LA area. Oops. Stand by, guys. Laptop finally warmed up. And you know, I'm going to definitely raise the ceiling on this, make this a little bit higher, like vault it. But I'm not doing that today. And I was watching, uh, I think C Love Gaming on, he was doing um, an auto mining storage area, which is really cool. Let's, well, I like that sunrise already. Okay. Um, I don't think I have any emeralds on me right now. There might be some in the flying ship, but we need to get glass for the uh, storage facility, I think. And I think my diamonds are up on the ship. Let's go grab some diamonds. Alright, diamonds, emeralds, and then uh, come back down here. There's the ship. So the reason why I'm doing this thing with the skeleton farm is because it's the closest thing I have for XP and um, since I don't have it set up for sorting I have to do it manually every single time and it produces a lot of material. So I figured yesterday before I left let's just start it and then I knew today I could finish it before we do get back to this. Um, building the uh, blimp so this is the main hall this is the lower hall hole h-u-l-l -L, hole I got an accent so I apologize all right here we go so let's see if we can buy some glass off of our librarian friend I don't think I have any glass okay but I need I need a lot more though so I think I ran through my supply all right I love this shit this thing's turning out really nice if I can just get that charge creeper farm to work then I'd be at static <laughs> there's the lightning rod I try to get it so it sticks outside of the ship and it's got to be around level, at least the limit is 120 from the ground, 120 blocks from the ground. And you should be able to hit lightning. And if you just joined the stream, welcome. Glad to have you here. We will be uh, working on the steamship today, but uh, first um, I'm trying to get the storage for the skeleton farm situated so that way we don't have to keep worrying about that every time we use it. And I was telling 
the stream that I saw a Minecrafter yesterday named C Love Gaming. And let me tell you something, his skeleton farm is amazing. And um, I am definitely going to be emulating that farm. Uh, not just for that, but uh, possibly for the spider farm I have too. It looks really cool. Since if you see the skeleton farm I used yesterday, instead of um, where my, you can't even see where the skeletons spawn at. They just pop in. This is the way you see Love Gaming did it he had the whole farm based around the actual cage the spawner behind glass so you can see it being activated and it was really cool and then he used a lot of wood it looked really cool so I think I'm gonna try going that route today oh I mean not today but I will in the near future um, we got to finish that ship and that ships gonna take a lot of time as it is but as I keep work you know keep getting more snow for my snow farm down here I'm actually building the uh, lava river too at the same time so let's get up here and add that glass because I think this locking me mechanism needs glass a glass block in order for it to work properly the reason being because I think it's because if you have it connected to another slice it's going to not work properly so I th I'll show you what I'm talking about it should be 41 in here and for whatever reason it goes down to 37 so I'm thinking because th because the stone and this are connecting maybe I don't know just putting it out there and then I'll have to figure out if that doesn't work I'll have to look at something else but I think that might be it because up until now all the lock and mechanisms pretty much work this way okay so I hmm. where's my bones at There you go. Yeah, so it has to be with has to be with the glass. Something to do with the glass. I don't know. The first tutorial I saw on this locking me mechanism, they used glass for this block right here. I don't know because when I used regular stone, it didn't work right. Now it works. So basically, you have to have 41 of the actual item that you're sorting, and then one single block that you're not going to ever sort. And there's other as a placeholder and it'd be a good idea if you could just take it whatever object you're going to use and name it in an anvil that way it'll never be the computer or the program will never confuse it with another object so we're going to put arrows in here so let's put the locking blocks in here and then we're going to take some arrows put them in here and then my next trick is go get some allays ah this is going to be quite a bit um, I definitely want leather the leather um, armor sorted away from the everything else so you have <laughs> leather tunic helmet leggings and boots that means one two three you go, you're, I'm going to need four allays for just for that alone and then I'm going to need one more lay for the bows so that they can put that that'll be sorted into the furnace fuel and then everything else can just fall right into the furnace the uh, gold and the um, everything else iron gold mesh all that can go into the furnace but I'm gonna need uh, five allays so let's go up top and I want to look over 
Let's see if this this should work. Hmm. I wonder why this isn't working. Hmm. It was working yesterday. Maybe it's equaled out the I don't know. Hmm. That's really odd. It was working fine yesterday. Maybe I can't use this type of mechanism. There we go. Hmm. I don't know. You have to keep an eye on that. A lot of times too, if you leave an area while that thing is running, it it tends to break too. I don't know. Stuff should be going in. Oh boy. Now this ain't working. <laughs> Are you serious? It just stopped. Yeah, I guess I can't. Hmm. Well. I don't know. I'll have to figure out why this. Don't know. Interesting. It should be f somewhere along here. It should be working. There we go. It's working. It does one item at a time. That there's a lot of stuff backed up. I have to figure out how to situate that mechanism. Until then, I could just use a lever. <laughs> Turn it off when I'm ready. That's all the cool thing about a skeleton farm. If you trigger them, they'll start shooting each other. It's amazing. Um, yeah, let's go visit my sorting or storage area up top and see how I designed that and then <coughs> emulate that here. Yeah, I was watching another guy's um, video on uh, mine shafts and stuff. He made one guy made a city inside of a mine shaft. Really cool stuff, man. But I really like C Love Gaming. He's check out his channel. He's got some really good builds. I was watching his channel last night. It was really good. I checked the volume. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely check out his channel. It's so good. Um, he's getting near nighttime. Can I make it over here? Oh, and while we're up here, let me check um, the list of names real quick. My laptop's finally up and running. I'll watch another video they were saying that if you don't sleep not only are fat phantoms going to come after you but lightning is more possible to happen if you don't sleep so that's a cool thing if you're doing a charge creeper farm like I am alright uh, so here's the allays so it looks like two wool blocks a note block. Ooh, there is redstone involved. I like that. I 
archive stuff in here. They should... They should go down in the overflow if they don't get sorted. I don't think I have an iron block down here. I saw some stuff float down, so I don't know. Hmm. I honestly just saw stuff flow down the stream here. Unless it's stuck. I saw an iron block flow down here. Let's try that again. I don't want to lose no my stuff. Shoot. Yeah, see there goes an iron block. Where did that thing go? I guess it'd be helpful if I had glass. I could actually watch it. I think it's sitting right there. For whatever reason, it's sitting right inside. Unless that's a button, I don't know. That was just the button I was looking at. Yeah, it's getting stuck somewhere. That is really super weird. Let's turn that on again. I got tons of stuff in here, that's for sure. There goes a block. It's going there. It is going down. It's going down that way. But I guess I need to put. Why is it not going into my. This is overflow. Why is it bypassing. I don't have a hopper there. Uh, yeah. That's why. Should be able to send this stuff right back three again. Oh my god, it's all backed up. <laughs> yeah, I don't have oh boy. Dirt. What else do I have that I don't need? Iron blocks. I think it's down here. Nope, I never made an iron block bin. Let's put this in here too for now. Mushrooms. I don't even have a mushroom bin. Yeah, I gotta work on this sorting machine too. You know what? Let's go to bed. But you know what? No, I'm not, because I'm waiting for that lightning to happen. So let's just let it go. Oh, maybe that's not the best of ideas. I saw that creeper prowling around out there. They should not be able to get in. I only have like one block high. They shouldn't be able to get in. 
All right. But our idea coming up here in the first place was to see how this thing's put together. So let's try that one more time without getting blown up. So it looks like it is simply I think this is this dropper. Yeah, it makes sense. So you have a dropper. Your pipe goes into the dropper. And it looks like it's facing down into this step. Then you have a stone block next to the dropper. Uh, comparator in front of that block. Looks like repeater going out that way and out that way. There's four of them and they're all at four ticks. And you have a stone block there um, note block note block two wall blocks oh you kidding me uh-huh Yeah, spiders can get in. Everything else shouldn't. Man, after all that, I didn't get no no drops. Come on, what's up with that? So, over top of the actual lay is the st uh, stone slabs, and I think we put them down inside of a hopper. See, there's the hopper that goes right on top of the chest. And then you stick the alay in the hopper and cover them with a slab. I know it's kind of horrible, but it works so well. <laughs> um, and you got to give them whatever you, the item you want to be sorted. Um, Give this a whirl. I'm gonna need a dropper. One, two, three, four. Let's say four repeaters and one comparator. Oh, look at my friend. Hold on, dude. Don't go nowhere. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I got something for you. Hold on. Stay right there. Watch the birdie. Watch the birdie. Here it comes. Here it comes. Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Boom. Up. Oh. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. What? Boom. Is he coming back? Is he coming back? Welcome back to the stream, guys. Well, you're welcome to come back. I don't know about him. Hold on, dude. <laughs> daytime you shouldn't attack you shouldn't attack it's daytime it's daytime what so the reason why we're up here is I was checking to see how I put this allay sorting together and I think I understand how this works dropper you got to have a block in front of it and a, a step underneath of it then you have um, looks like a pulse extender that comes out See, it's like a pulse extender. And, um, but it's a note block, two wool blocks, a note block, two wool blocks, all the way down. And then you might need a repeater to extend the, uh, the pulse down this way. 
and I don't have a hopper down here so my over overflow is missing it's a uh, chest I gotta get a hopper there I don't have it on me so um, let's just put it in here for now oh boy here comes another spider shouldn't attack because it's daytime right are we friends are we friends yeah we're friends there we go there's the flying ship as soon as I get this skeleton farm working we're going right back up there Oh, let me um, go check out the list, the name list for the subscribers real quick. Take off my helmet. <laughs> let's see, look at these guys for, well, let's go over here. There you go. <laughs> um, let me see. Oh, actually, we're up to 234 subscribers, and let me check the list of names. Um, looks like the usual suspects. I don't see any new names on the list, but like I did say to you guys, uh, I'll go over what uh, the notification I got, but their, their names are not listed yet. I don't know why the game or YouTube doesn't do it immediately when a new subscriber signs up but and this is the gauge I go by when I add new statues yeah I don't see any of the newer names it's still the same names I've had before here but again I thank whoever signed up 234 and I did get a notification so I'll go over the notifications of who subscribed um, uh, Thomas Ewald, Ambria Mack, Haley McCarty, uh, Gouda's, uh, Gouda Smile, or Gouda Smile, and, uh, let's see, I think that's, yeah, I think that's it, yeah, that's it, so if you got once, I don't know if either you guys have to make sure your names are public, uh, for subs uh, for YouTube subscriber or subscriptions, and or the YouTube has to actually um, process you guys somehow. I don't know, but the, once the names are listed on my um, subscriber list, I'll give you a statue because the ones that are on my list, it's only fair to them. Their names are listed, so um, and I'll show you if you're new to my channel. I'll show you what the this is a subscriber honor hall. So you get statues like this. Red Rider group. Eventually, once I become a partner uh, or affiliate with YouTube and Twitch, I'll have extra, a little extra money coming in to set up a Patreon with uh, goodies uh, that you guys can get perks for subscribing to the channel. But right now, I'm <laughs> I'm barely paying my bills as it is. So, um, but yeah, this was originally my. Um, survival base my first I spawned right out here I started the game on June 7th this new update 1.20 I spawned a few blocks right down there and this was like a little hillside that I uh, dug a hole in a little cave I dug which is now your guys honor hall Ta -da! let's go back down I think I have the pattern of how to build this lay farm or lay sorter I should say and that way our skeleton farm it's not going to be complete per se but at least I don't have to manually put stuff in chests at the end of the use of it I really want 
to get this really worked on. I want to see this thing in the operation. Iron Forge. It's going to be so nice once it's working. So this is perfect. Oh no. I usually put glass in here so you can actually see what's going on if there's something backed up. It's not working properly. But it's been more than five minutes, so whatever's there is probably despawned. But it's just a check. Okay, it looks clear. Alright. Now, the next step is we got to set up the oh, and no clock. I think that's a diamond and wood. doesn't show up unless you actually have this um, proper materials. Redstone and eight planks. No diamonds in a bottle like this for a jukebox. So again, I hope you guys have a great Sunday. As we read the National Day Counter, it's National Tempura Day, January 7th. National Bobblehead Day. It's just a fantastic all-around kind of Sunday. But I was really happy, you guys. Uh, I saw a few people sign up yesterday. Uh, I know I really should get on top of um, doing shorts and um, which are little clips for YouTube and uh, what's that? Uh, TikTok, TikTok, and get them out there because um, it's good advertising. Um, but by the time I get done doing this Let's Play and it's time for me to go back out there doing my Uber, um, I really don't. Cause I gotta upload this while I'm getting a, sh a shower to get going and all that stuff, so it's like you know. But uh, C Love Gaming, though, man, yeah, he, I give him a lot of credit. He apparently he was going to college when he first started streaming Minecraft, and so he would do a let's play, but he did a lot of editing, so you don't have to deal with what you're <laughs> dealing with me. So you just cut to the chase to the good parts and leave out all the stuff like I'm doing now out so you can obviously see this but 
And I think he streamed every day too. So he did both. He not only streamed a Let's Play like what I'm doing, but then he edited the videos. Which I'm hoping to do in the future. Once I uh, get to affiliate status and I don't have to Uber as much, then I'll have time to do it. But right now I don't have the time. Dropper facing out this way. Let me see if I have a dropper. If not, I think I might. Up top. I think that's a dispenser I made by accident. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think it's cobblestone. That's the ingredient. Is that a dropper? Excuse me. Nope. And we need redstone. gonna see if I can just do it facing out because I really don't want to be adjusting the stream that I have going here 
the channel where the water's flowing. If I make this go down like that, I'm gonna have to lower the chest. And I'm not doing. I'm hopefully I don't have to do that. Okay, that should stick in any drops inside there, and then I just need to put a block, it's like a timer, to set that off. Um, I think I know now why they did the way they did it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I can avoid that still. Because if I have it facing down, you know, this frees up the, these three sides to put in the circuit to turn that on. If you have it facing downwards, the way it's out this way, the channel is going to be going out this way. The water channel from up there is going to go down here. And then that's this side's blocked, but you can still use this side. But then you, if you put in redstone over here, you could turn that off, that hopper off. I guess I'm going to go down. Darn it. <laughs>
<clears throat> sorry about the static sound but um i'm hitting that mute button sorry about that when i do that it makes that sound um so i think i found out why there's half slabs of above this area it gives you enough, enough surface area to make a circuit for the dropper and enough room for this items to come out I think this is gonna to have to go away too so this would have to be something like I would have to be glass I can open that chest up but I don't think see this would have to go out another block because water is going to flow into that hopper I'm going to need another hopper to extend this be perfectly honest with you guys uh, I don't think <laughs> that I'm going to be able to get to the flying ship today <laughs> this is going to be a little involved but it's going to be so worth it it's just you know if I'm going to invest in all this time doing this really should do this the proper way let's put this stuff in here for now if this was a quick fix I would would have done it but um, I'll show you what I'm talking about oh, you know what before yeah I guess that's good um, get my chicken talking about is up here is the actual mob spawner is right up here um, I think it's up here so through here is the actual spawner <laughs> oh look at those guys I, def I must have forgot to put a slab on top of that spawner you're supposed to put a slab on top of that spawner so that doesn't happen see them sitting on top there yeah that's not supposed to happen but the idea is let me um, get rid of these guys real quick Okay, so it's supposed to be a slab on top of that to begin with, so these guys don't sit on top of there. But Sea Love Gaming, he actually made a glass partition or a wall like right here, so you can actually watch all of this. And then this whole room in here was like the farm, so you could actually get the XP, have a storage area, like a TV while watching this stuff happening over here. And it was all done in wood and timber. It was so nice. And carpet. So if I'm going to have to do an extensive storage thing over over there, I might as well just build this the right way. And the reason why I'm putting so much, so much time and effort in this because this is the closest XP farm I have that produces bone meal, which I use for the wood farm and I have to use it every once in a while when I need snow for the uh, ship I use the uh, snow farm so when I need glass I'm going to have to stain that like a black I want to use squid ink do I have anything good in here? Mm -mm. more copper 
Oy. I got some digging to do. What I should do first is... And the other thing cool, what he did was, in the walls in here, he made a skeleton face on each wall. That was really cool. But what... See, I have it where these guys go right down. They drop right down into that little trident killer down there through that hole. So in order for them to be up here with us, I could have the water push this way into a, a channel, which would throw them up into a elevator and then back down into a trident maybe over here somewhere. So that way we don't have to go underneath, we can stay all on the same level. Um, I'm going to need glass to get this started, and I'm going to have, oops, I'm going to have to knock out all this stuff here. What I should do is get the glass, that way at least I know how big this is here. And then how to dig the rest of this out. I wouldn't do it if this other area was already finished, but you know, I got if I'm going to have to put a lot of time into this thing, I'm, I might as well do it the right way. And you, my friends, are not going to go to waste. In Java Edition, the sword can have swipe. You can knock all these guys in one swipe. I don't have that in Bedrock.
see what happens is if this backs up somehow and the arrows get past the sorting area then uh, yeah it just so you want to make sure that this is all working properly so it all gets sorted the right way before you actually sort <laughs> start sorting like I did but um, we are going to need a lot of glass so I gotta go buy some glass from our librarian didn't I just buy glass? I thought I did. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to dye this like a black. We're going to need ink. And I apologize if you guys are like, wait a minute. I thought you were building that steampunk ship. I am. But um, we're going to need this in the building of the ship. So... Um, I want to make this the proper way and I promise you if you stick it out and watch me build this you're gonna love the outcome it's gonna be really nice and not only am I building this farm I'm gonna add the glow ink farm underneath of it too it's gonna be a little involved but I think it's gonna be worth it you guys are gonna enjoy it once it's done so let's go over here. I need to find black ink, squid ink. I might have to go to Aquatica or the Ocean Monument to go find some ink. Might be up top too. Places I can check before I go back out. Um, I thought I had some ink out here too. Oh, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. Let's see. I should have brought emeralds with me. There's more glass. Cool if I could use those paints instead of the glass. I'm gonna need ink. There's a glue squid ink, but I need regular black ink. beckoning us I just need some black ink I knew it wasn't going to be this easy I hope we have sheep up there. I just saw lamp chops inside of that chest. I hope my sheep are okay. Alright, I see a couple still in there. I don't think any wolves can get in there. I don't think. Who will? Let's do a fly over to the storage. Something's telling me we're going to have to go out to... <laughs> I said something's telling me we're going to have to go to the Ocean Monument. This always reminds me, have you ever seen that Highlander movie? He was living like in an abandoned castle tower. That's, this always reminds me of it. The first Highlander movie. Squid ink. We need squid ink. Do I have a bit out here? Yeah, that would make too much sense. You 
Yeah, unless I'm ready to do that lightning thing, yeah, I'm gonna try to just do one thing at a time here. Oh, I can't believe this. Well, the other thing I was thinking of where the ink could be is right as we enter the nether, I have a little room with uh, Prisma Marine that could have the ink. Let me check the audio. Bear with me for a second, guys. I'm going to grab a cup of coffee and then uh, we'll continue. Thank you. 
Thanks, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, let's get some sleep. I don't want to be dealing with lightning today. I want to get that skeleton farm going. So if you are just popping in now and don't know what's going on, I um, we are definitely building a steampunk flying ship. I'll show you the ship outside. But first, I want to get the skeleton farm finished here. So there's the ship. And the blip itself is made out of snow blocks. I have a snow farm not too far from the skeleton farm. So as the snow blocks are being created, I go into the skeleton farm for XP. But the skeleton farm is not correct. I did it on the fly. And it's really um, frustrating once you're done using the farm that it has all the drops. And then I got to sort through the, all that stuff manually so I'm trying to set up a proper skeleton farm based on C love gaming on YouTube minecrafter C love C as in Charlie love LUV if you go to his channel look up skeleton farm you'll see this I think it's from like four years ago or so but it's Waddles does builds like his and Waddles is also a really good designer and um, after I saw Sea Loves, I'm like, you know, yeah, because if I'm going to put all this time making a proper storage area, let's do this all the way the right way. So what I'm going to do right now is grab the crafting table. We're going to make some stained glass, like dark stained glass. So I know this, I wonder if this is done. Let's see, it should be. Right. Yep. That's because this got jammed in the front and it, and it missed the spot it's supposed to go to. This should be all empty. Yep. Alright, so let's go up top and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This thing looks awesome. Maybe this will give me enough inspiration to finish Iron Forge too. So up here is the actual skeleton spawner. This is what Sea Love did. He actually, this wall here was all dark stained glass. And then the floor and everything was all timber like planked uh, flooring, uh, oak plank flooring and uh, oak trunks like uh, columns oak columns and wood roof and stuff with steps it, it looks so nice so and then he did like a skeleton face on the walls um, the storage everything was all in one place he even had a enchanted table on this one spot so if you're, if you're curious to, of what I'm saying go to C love season Charlie LUV gaming on YouTube uh, look up skeleton farm and uh, you'll be I, I guarantee you you'll be impressed as I was it's amazing really really amazing I was kind of like hoping to do something like that in the first place but because of doing other things just like we're doing now I, I kind of blew it off and now I'm not now I'm going to do this because if I'm going to do the storage thing the proper way, I might as well do the whole thing. The old saying, the old Ben Franklin saying is motto, in for a penny, in for a pound. So here we go. Let me know in the comments what you think. You know, uh, if you like the idea, if you don't. So what way it's going to work is the water, instead of flowing to that chute right there, that shaft and then falling down below the water is going to go this direction there'll be a channel probably going this way they'll go up an elevator over here and then drop down on somewhere over there but first just so that I know um, 
this the scope of this I want to first put up this glass window or glass wall and then I know the size of this thing that I'm dealing with or how I'm building this the main reason I have this Minecraft channel is to advertise my art channel um, so what I really should do is on my art stream make up blueprints for what whatever we're going to do here you know like plans draw up plans on my art stream so I can do two birds one stone do some art by making the blueprints and do the minecrafting implementing those blueprints I I really I have a blast uh, just figuring it out on the fly though I get a kick out of it but you know it really eats up a lot of time what's that called uh, being spontaneous I like that spontaneity it makes it more interesting okay we're gonna have to go let me see let me pick up all the drops What I should do is set up a, so we don't have any surprises up here, I should move that gate up here. Um, first I gotta find out where the floor is at. I think it's like right here. Um, 33. Hmm, it's almost the same level as the chest. Oh lord, that's not good. this way and then they should drop into a chute out here somehow oh, I do that every time so I'm assuming right here is where the glass wall is going to be it's like right here A lot of wood, a lot of wood. What I should do, play it safe. <laughs> As soon as I went to inventory. Okay. No problem. As soon as I went to inventory, I knew he was going to do that. 
he's gonna pop up on me once I had this up once I was vulnerable yep that's how that's how that game's played oh look at that guy nice oh boy stay in one place too long that's exactly what's ha what happens yeah I definitely need to get a gate get that gate from over here maybe I should just make another gate so I get this all sorted If I have enough wood for a gate, yeah, I do. Okay, <laughs> the key word here is over encumbered. Actually, I can throw that wood in there too. Watch that creeper be right inside there, waiting for us. Okay. So that's the rub you can't just stain the panes you have to stain the glass first then the panes that's a shame that's a lot of glass to waste let me um let's see we take half of that put that there put that there that there let's see what we can do with this let me even do a half of that Let's see, let's do 25, because I don't need a whole lot of glass. Something's telling me we can get even more. Let's do half of that. Whoop. What the heck? There we go. 12, let's try 12, because I hate to waste this stuff. gives us that which will then in turn give us 16 so 12 gives us 16 paint stained glass or panes all right that should work perfectly we just need to 
put it across here like that. Every time, every time, I'm just going to have to move this thing. I don't know if I have any but yeah, I do. Where am I going to put this thing? I guess for now, like right here. For now, I can always move it again. What I should do is just move this thing. To the area we have right now down below and it's, that, that way it'll be out of the way I can definitely tell you for sure I am positively unorganized This is fun. This is like, you know, when you just start playing Minecraft and you set up your base and all this. This is kind of like what this is all about. That's why I like the game. When you do stuff like this. I mean, we were doing it with a steampunk flying ship, but we can get right back to that. Because there's another old saying measure twice cut once that's kind of what I'm trying to accomplish here with the skeleton farm instead of me just trying to make a makeshift storage facility really quick which is going to take me not a short period of time but it's, it's going to be a little bit involved if I'm going to put that much time let's, let's just do it the right way huh. I find that interesting So what that is, it's an infinite water source. So if you take two, well make th make like a three block hole, put water one block of water on either side of the center one, and you always pull from the center, you will always have infinite water. Wish lava was like that. <laughs> Alright, so we just got to finish putting the stained glass. And I have an understanding. I might even put a fireplace in this thing. Make it really cozy looking. Instead of so cold. But I really like what he did. Uh, Seal of Gaming. Really, really nice job. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, one, two. All right. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's forty-five stained glass. I'm going to need. My brain can't handle all the math. Let's try doing that and see what happens. All right, let's do that. I think I said 55. No, you're going to get 16. That's because it's kind of close to eight. 
four left over. 55, we need a 55 stained glass. Let's take half of that. You know something, let's take half of the 32 too. Is that, what is that, 16? Let's see what that does. Yep, here we go. That's all we need. A little extra to spare. Now the other th cool thing we could do, I think won't affect the spawn rates. Let me put that soul flames in here, soul lanterns. Man, that's gonna make it look really cool. Let's um, put these on top first. So that's the idea, that's what he did. The water flows here, they flow into a channel which flows this way, it gets sucked up into an, uh, a shaft, bring it over here and they drop down. Now what he, the reason why he did that, because in Java Edition you have a sword that has swipe, you can knock down multiple mobs in one swipe. So he had him go up so high, like 20 or so blocks, so when he came down there they had one heart left. And when you swipe them, they're all done with one swipe. It was almost like a fireplace that the skeletons fall down into. But I still want my trident farm. I love my trident farm. Well, not trident farm. Trident killer. I love my trident killer. So we're going to knock out... The next thing, we're going to knock out this stone here. Let's put all the extra stuff in here. Let's have a little bit of room. And what is in my shulker here? I think that's for snow. I don't think there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing in there. All right, let's knock out this stuff here. Let's go back. And he made it nice and wide. I like the, the space he used. That was nice too. So sea love, nice job, man. Real nice job. Good use of we call that function and form. That's an arch arch architect's jargon or motto or mantra. Function and form. Art that can be used or utilized.
just trying to be hoity-toity with how I'm hitting this stuff because I don't want to rip it all up. I mean, I, I am, but I don't want to make a mess, so I don't know what I'm doing. I should do is fill all this in. We're going to come back in and put in wood planks anyway, but probably saying why in God's name are you you're just going to dig that out again but in my brain I like to have it even so I know what I'm doing I don't want to have it or I'm trying to figure stuff out all right it's all even Steven right section out and while we're out let's knock this wall out too Alright, next thing we can do, let me see what time it is. I gotta get I gotta do my Uber today. So I'm gonna give this another hour and then I'm gonna exit out. Um, but like I said, we're gonna once I get 
the main thing set up then I'll add the wood planks and the wood paneling and the carpet and all that good stuff because I really want this to look nice because it's going to be look especially if I go away from keyboard and give you guys something better to look at than what I have had you guys look at so all right um, we're going to I'm going to put in this shaft so they're going to wash into here I should have it where they suck into here go up across and then down to the trident farm um, so let's see pop these out so the uh, gotta get a little bit further in like that um, due to the top so let's see here I don't know how tall this is. The, the idea is to make it nice and don't have to do too much in doing so. Try to make it as practical as possible. So we wanted to have them to come up here. So this is going to be uh, Y38. Y38. What I should do also is just go straight up instead of, and that's not a good idea, but what you can do in that case is put a torch down in case you hit pop, pop a block that has gravel on top of it the gravel will fall past you and hit the uh, torch and break instead of piling up and suffocating you so we need to, we need to go up to Y38 I unfortunately we'll have to pop that <laughs> very break the blocks it doesn't make a difference okay Torch here. Seven. That should be thirty-eight right there. Okay, and then we got to go across. I don't know how far across we're going. So that looks good. That's pretty centered, right? I'd say what four here. Three. Eh, it's pretty close. So this is one sixty one. go and they should when they hit here it goes straight down oops down to 33 I have to clear out all this good stuff thank you minecraft look at all this good stuff Hmm. I think that's the shaft. Yeah, I think that's the shaft we do just dug out. Alright, let's put all this block back in here. Patch it all up. Okay, there's the shaft we came down. Maybe not. Maybe that. I don't know what that is. Hmm. The shaft is like right here, right? We 
I mean, this is 161. No, we'll find out. should be it. This should be the front door right here. Yep. You want to make sure there's no holes so the water can shoot out. Okay, they're going to drop down. So this area here is going to be where the trident killer is. Um, and you want to see them. So, and you want them on the same level. So, I can lower the trident killer here so that we can actually face them head on as they're well they would have to be actually on this platform here because that's where all the dispensers and stuff so let's dig out this area the center hole should be there yeah, the, whoa. Yeah, somehow, some way, I dug in. I don't know what this is. Let me see. Hmm. Interesting. That's the only thing is when you don't when you do stuff haphazardly like that, you could accidentally dig right into a farm like, like this. Because if we want to face them, it would have to be on this level here. Let's throw a torch in so I can see what I'm doing. Um, put the extra stuff in here. Let's go grab our trident killer. Don't worry, I mean, we could do something else with this room. I don't know. Could be used for storage, who knows? Alright, let's get rid of all this stuff. stuff pushed back out there we go right I gotta fill all that in So they're going to wash out here, they're going to go in there, I should have all the stuff I need to make this, alright, let's see, so we need a piston, here's the hole, I need a piston here, and then a piston here, 
actually here like that I should maybe yeah I should make make this good a little deeper Ooh, more copper I like it all right so piston is the shaft piston here piston I guess um, I forget how far it's got to be I think like that then like that I think that's right if not I have to readjust wait a minute where's my other piston at Holes right there. Hmm. I think that's supposed to happen because you gotta you put this here like this, and then you gotta have the observer facing out. Oh, let me check the audio. I'm so sorry if it's staticky. Hold on. Sorry, <clears throat> and let me make the announcement on back. I'm having a bad morning. Sorry about that. Not knack. Back. There we go. There we go. Try to stay consistent. All right. Um, what was I doing? There we go. So we face out. All right, here. Okay. Torch. Comparator. Um, yeah. Observer. Torch. Observer. Torch. Observer. Yeah. What is that hole? Wait a minute. Uh, you kidding me? Oh. Uh huh. There's the hole right here. Son of a gun. Lovely. One more time. Okay, this is the hole, right? Yeah. All right. So again, here, right? No, it's gonna be up farther up. Darn it. Okay, that's the hole, right? All right. I guess I could have it there. Why not? There, 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 and there. One more time. There. 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 Come on. So you just you'll just <clears throat> see like a little window in here of them falling in. Um, but I need a lever though. I should have it on me. Yeah, there it is. There we go. I don't like the way it looks though. I mean, it could do better. So.
my point is we shouldn't have to see the machinery I could probably get like hatches or whatever or right, trapdoors on why I keep saying hatches I wonder if I can do this oh. design well I could put it right in let me see how about here oh, darn it guess we are gonna look at the uh, I could put a trapdoor there there and there just that's the only thing it's going to be showing um I should put a trap door in here that way I can just flip that open throw it try to in put glass there <laughs> unless you have another pane it doesn't make it doesn't seal so you're gonna have to use a block glass block I could use the tenant, but I like the, uh, and on top of that, for now we'll just use this torch, but eventually I like to put like a lantern or something inside there. Now we're going to put, um, Way to capture the drops. So I'm gonna have to dig up this real quick. and this should be a spot right there that's where I can put the uh, rail and the hopper and then the ch well for now a chest and then the, the storage area will probably be over that way let's go grab a chest Again, I apologize to you guys if you're expecting uh, me to build that steamship today. Um, I just changed my mind at the last minute because this really needs to be done. And uh, until it is, I'm not going to be happy. I don't think there's anything in here, right? Good. Excellent. Okay, let's knock all this out. We're just going to take this to the area up there actually all of this is going up there but I'm 
I'm going to go as long as I can, guys. When I get to the point where I can't see straight because I'm hungry, then I'm going to call, call it a stream. And i got to do my Ubering. Usually days I don't do Uber, I eat my lunch and I come back, but I need to keep up with my Ubering. Got to keep up with the cash. The cash. Alright, let's put... Uh, I guess I can put the chest there, right? That's definitely not from the spawner. That is just simply... A random skeleton. Now, I think I left the chest down below. Mm hmm. He probably went inside here. Hmm. Interesting. It's not on me. This other extra stuff here. I'll hold on to that. I don't need this. Hmm. Where did that chest go? See that drives me nuts. Why is that thing? Is it, I guess because that's charged, so it's not allowing that to. See that won't work. That type of uh, system I have there won't work. Hmm. Um, I don't want to knock that out yet because there's water. I gotta dry that column of water. here with the rest of it. Never goes easy. Where's the fun in that, right? What I meant was the the tracks should go horizontal. That way the minecart won't roll out when in use. Now I gotta go find my tracks or rails, whatever you want to call them.
give me one second, guys. I'm going to grab us a coffee, and then we'll get we'll continue. Let's go grab some logs real quick. So I can put this trap. Uh, yeah, trap. Are they trap doors? Yeah. And uh, I got plenty of bones and stuff over there. Bone meal.
I hate to say it, guys, but uh, if I get the skeleton skeleton farm finished, I am definitely, definitely going to fix this tree farm. So there's a blast chamber. Uh, this is getting on my last nerves, having to <laughs> chop this wood every time we use this thing. Oh my god. Yep. So once the skeleton farm's done, guess what? We're adding on a blast chamber for this thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's check the uh, dripstone. Nice, 35, baby. Nice. This is because I'm going to add all that in here. This will be a big river of lava going that way and that way, which is actually a lava farm. And this will all be part of the Iron Forge uh, theme. Just like World of Warcraft. And then on either side will be mega smelters. I think you guys saw that slime down there, didn't you? I know I, know I did. I have uh, snow golems, at least on that side. There was one over here too. Well, he's gone. <laughs> I'm curious to see if um, that glow squid ink... Uh, see, there's the slime. I knew he was down here. Slimer. That would be a cool thing for a Halloween. Slimer. Yeah, I gotta set up a slime farm in this area too. That's the next thing I gotta do. Certain phases of the moon cause these guys to spawn quite a bit. Sorry for the clicking. I got an Xbox controller. It's not even night time. I don't think so, but let's just check. Yeah. What I'm planning on doing is once we get the skeleton farm finished, I'm going to move this entire thing under the skeleton farm. So when we're using the skeleton farm, we'll be using technically this as well. So the idea is the glow ink, or the glow squid spawn in the water drawn to the magma uh, blocks and uh, die and then there's uh, drops are in the chest for glow ink and I could do that put that right underneath the skeleton farm so we can come and then maybe a slime uh, yeah slime farm too get like three farms into one be really cool. Bats. Spiders. Oh my. Um, I just think it was. That water source that was there when I first uh, dug down these tunnels. And I kind of use it to travel up that way to see what's in that shaft out that way. stairs in here all right so we got our wood let's put us some planks down so the idea too is we do it hey, come on man, really you take this oh I don't want that covered up I guess I could, hmm, I could put it in here, no, put it, yeah, see, it's going to cover that up, oh well, I want it to be even, I want it to have like, oops, that's not, that's not the way I want it, kind of like this. Right, and then another 
timber going across wood floor I guess for now I have to do it this way I just don't it's the OCD kicking in I don't like stuff uneven it's like fingernails and chalkboard for me I can't stand that alright let's go once I put the uh, top on there it'll come together but that's the idea that's why I liked it so much I might have to hmm yeah maybe I will do it that way encase it inside there I don't like a gap The wood beams is what, like, really what makes it, man. Makes it look so nice. That's why it's good to get all of your cosmetic stuff done before you decide the way you want it to run or work the machinery of it. drives me nuts and I'm starving let's put at least put the top on that thing I'm gonna call it a stream guys I am oh my stomach Ooh, I am so hungry when I was younger man but I used to don't ever start smoking cigarettes that's a bad thing when I was a younger I used to smoke so I would able I was able to I guess in my mind um, curb my appetite once I quit, man, all I do is like, <laughs> I mean, that's how you should be living life is like eating and exercising. But, you know, unfortunately, life tends to have you go a different direction sometimes. All right. So here we go. So this is what I'm looking at, I think. I don't know if I want it in the back or the front. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. I like it. That's how he. That's how he had. And then he did like skeleton faces in the back. And then I think he had a wood top or something like that, or brick top. Isn't that nice? I like that. But I'm gonna have to push this back though. I'm gonna have to push that back so you can see that frame. Then all of this is gonna be wood. Let's let's do that now. I, I can still at least do that. Every time I say that, my stomach just like shrinks more and more, and it's like it's like somebody twisted my stomach. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, man. This okay. Let's make up some planks. Just so that this way you guys can see what I'm my idea before we go let me see here get that out let's knock out this floor do I want to do that no I don't because the water's going to run underneath with the planks so let's just 
I'll have to figure a better set of stone to put in there. Maybe brick will be good. I said this is just so that it's kind of like a a model, an idea of what I'm gonna um, what I'm going for. I don't want these walls all in stone either. There was a mesa uh, out by the desert that I found, and uh, I think I'm gonna go that route and do the walls in a certain terracotta color. doesn't matter because we're going to have to fix that tomorrow anyway. Let me just knock. Uh, I know where it's at. get those two well how many is that uh, I'm gonna need like one two let's try three four let's try four maybe just if I push it once I should get four uh two there we go I'm curious what it looks like right there there and there okay that's the wrong way kind of like the way I'm looking at it yeah why not if I didn't want it that way I could put a block in here then put the hatch or a trap door see makes it all fancy That way, when I want to <clears throat> when I want to put the trident in, just throw it in, shut it. I could make this. Well, you're already going to see it this level anyway. But I could make that shoot all glass, so you could see him go up the shoot and around and drop down. That'd be cool. But I'm going to have to knock this back tomorrow. I'm going to have to push it back. Let's fill this in. I didn't want to call it a stream because my belly is dictating what I'm doing today. All right. This gives me a chance to even think about more stuff to do with this area but wait till you see I mean it's gonna make it look so nice where you want to come here instead of feeling like you have to come here I should set up like a steps or something so that's not an abrupt change yeah that's the ceiling too the ceiling is going to have um, stairs and then the wood paneling up top 
And I could do the walls in like terracotta too. But I'm going to push this back more too so it's more open. Maybe move it over here and move it over there like another block out, block out. Maybe two or three blocks out that way. And then this ceiling. So that then I'll have a fireplace, enchanting table. It's going to look really nice. Let me do a quick clip. There we go. Alright guys, let's see if I um, can find you guys a good uh, raid. And we'll come back here again tomorrow. I apologize if I didn't do the sh ship like I was saying I'm going to do. But like I said... This is going to look really nice once it's finished. You know what? I should stand in front of here so it looks even better. <laughs> For the thumbnail. There you go. There you go. All right. Let's see, let's see if I can find you guys a good uh, read. Forzen's usually on. There he is. He's just chatting. Go in and say hi. I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue what he's doing. All right, you guys, uh, I will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern. You have a fantastic Sunday. And please share this vid with all of your friends. Have a great day, guys. Thank you.